Welcome back, everybody. We're talking uh, spring week this week here on KRQE this morning, and this morning we brought in the experts to discuss grills and the best opportunities for you and your family. If you're thinking maybe you're on a budget or you have a lot of money to spend on your patio with the tax refund coming, Walter Cordova with Lowe's is here to show us all of your options from the very basic grill all the way up to the Cadillac of grills as it's known. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad to be here. There's some great options out there to get some grills. Brought a few today to show you. Yeah, let's do that. First of all, let's let's talk about the basics and we're going to go through all three here that you have available to customers and explain this one. This one's like a um, here on the end is kind of like a, maybe a souped up version of what you might have had when you were younger. The, the charcoal grill, right? Absolutely. This is a charcoal grill. It's a master forge. Um, it's your basic grilling if you cook with this you're gonna need a little extra time because it is charcoal so you've got to get that charcoal warm get it ready to cook so it's not a quick way to grill but it is still a very popular way to grill now you said the lid is the most important thing or one of the more important things to remember when you're purchasing a grill how so the heavier the lid the the uh, way it comes down is it's gonna hold all your heat in and what that what the importance with that is it takes a lot less heat that escapes to, to cook and what you're looking at with grills is is how much heat you can hold in that grill in order to cook especially with charcoal because you want that heat to heat the uh, the meats up so that it keeps all the juices in this was pretty affordable too this one's about 119 it is real affordable it gives you a lot of options this grill in itself it's got air flue spaces that you can actually raise and lower on the side. This will raise your cooking areas so that you have the opportunity. If you like it more well done, you can raise the coals higher. If you like it a little bit rare, you can lower it. And then in the front, you can stoke the fire as well. It's got a door for it. And all importantly, it's got a bottle opener so you can keep refreshed while you're out there cooking. <laughs> Everything you need. All right, let's move on to this other one. If you, if you prefer uh, maybe propane over the easiness of propane, propane right over charcoal. Yeah. The next one here is a propane grill. It's a very nice grill, nice heavy lid. It is by Charbroil. It offers a little bit of stainless as well as some of the, uh, the black on the side, which is affordability. The grates on this are a nice cast iron grate. Uh, that's another important thing you want to look at because your grates are uh, what hold a lot of uh a lot of the heat in as well. Now, surprisingly, this one isn't that much more uh, expensive than the charcoal version, right? No, the uh, this grill runs about 169. Um, it offers three different burners, which is great because with those burners, you can actually cook meats uh, at different temperatures. If you like yours a little bit more well done, you can put it to the left. If you like it rare, you can put it to the right and lower the heat a little bit. If you want to cook some vegetables, you can put them in the middle at a different temperature. All right, what do we need to remember about BTUs when it comes to a grill like this? BTUs are important because that's actually the heat. It's a British thermal unit and that's how it's measured. You want about 60 to 80 BTUs per square inch. Every grill will have on there but the square inches of cooking space. This one's about 42,000 BTUs and 600 square inches. So you do the math, divide it, and it'll give you that 60 to 80 range. Most of those grills will be right in there and it holds the heat great. All right, we have a couple of minutes left. Let's get to this one right back here that people were looking at earlier. It's kind of a souped up version of a grill. This is if you have uh, lots of parties, I would imagine, and have maybe a little extra money to spend. Yes, this is the <laughs> Weber. It is the Cadillac of grills. Mm -hmm. This grill lights up. It's great for night cooking as well. Look at this, the LED lights on the handles here, isn't that cool? It's got a, a <laughs> gas gauge on it so you can just hit a button see how much gas you have left in your tank wow. so you don't run out in the middle of cooking. The lid on this is extremely heavy, holds the heat in. This has stainless grates, which are great because these are easy to clean. These are dishwasher safe, so when you cook on it, you can take it off and put it in your dishwasher. Also has wow. A rotisserie built in as well as a back uh, unit used for the rotisserie so you can heat the meats all the way around. The other great feature about this is it also has a smoking box so you can actually smoke with this grill as well. Tell me about the uh, damage that's going to be done on this one as far as the price goes. This one's about $2,500. Wow, so, so if you have a good tax refund coming this, this might be the this answer. This is the way to go but you know what it's, it's a need if, if you like entertaining this is a great grill. What else do people need to know when they're out uh, maybe at Lowe's looking for a grill or any other place? Uh, the most important thing to remember as we kind of wrap this up today. Well, one of the things you want to look at is just remember what you're what you're actually purchasing for. If it's for your family, just a couple people, you don't need to go this big. But also, a lot of people don't realize a lot of times they're grilling and they're entertaining. So you may want to think about that instead of just buying for your family. Think if you are going to entertain a lot. You may need to go a little bit bigger so you're not stuck constantly cooking and you have time to spend with your family. The other part to it is um, we always run great deals at Lowe's. Uh, right now we're in Spring Black Friday and we've got some great reductions in grills. 20 to $50 off a lot of these grills right now running through the next week. So it's a good time to maybe start thinking about that's why we're doing Spring Week this week. So I expect, I expect that you would have uh, experts at Lowe's to help people out. So we appreciate that. Thanks Walter. Nice to have you here and we'll be right back. Stay with us.